This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Razi Alkane and you're probably wondering uh, what I'm doing uh, because I'm not doing my usual intro and everything with uh, me talking about the figure but really it's just uh, something quick um, I found on toyhacks.com these labels uh, and they're probably older labels because uh, it's uh, reprolabels.com and it's cartoon sloppy symbols so that's basically what would have been painted on uh, or drawn on the Autobots and Decepticons from the G1 show like if they were in a distance this is what you would see and I thought this was the coolest thing ever when I saw them and I'm like I gotta try this so these bots here have been selected to uh, you know be part of the experiment basically I'm going to try to apply these but the thing is that I didn't notice before is that they're on clear plastic so I can't really put it over an existing logo in hopes it's gonna cover it because it, it it's gonna show through. So I'm gonna see how it goes with Soundwave and Optimus. The others I can remove or add logos, so it's no big deal. Uh, so I'm just gonna give that a shot. So, uh, so there you go. Um, I have uh, Iron Factory, Last Prophet, uh, McFans Toys, um, Rebel. And then I have a bunch of um, reissue and KO G1, actually original reissue and KO Red Bumblebee, uh, KO G1 Sunstreaker, uh, Earthrise Sunstreaker and Wheeljack, uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime, Siege Soundwave, and was he part of Earthrise? Yeah, I think it's Earthrise um, uh, Trust. So that's that's uh, the uh, selected people for this. Uh, little video so uh, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these uh, sloppy cartoon decals and uh, see uh, what it looks like all right I have to say that I like it but it depends on the bot really uh, like I said I tried on Soundwave and it's not because there's battle damage on this figure you can't really tell that there's a Decepticon logo underneath but because there's no white backing to the decals, he's hard to show. Like it's hard to tell that there's a the shape of the logo or that it's a cartoon sloppy because um, sh it would have looked better on white background. So that's one thing I'm gonna do is go back to toyhags.com and see if they have a version of all this stuff uh, in with a white background. Uh, Optimus, I chose not to paint over or decal over uh, because you know this is the the proper placement uh, this one oh man I misaligned it but uh, because of all the details it doesn't look as good so this one I'm probably gonna remove afterwards so uh, it's a um, you know I think this one came out okay I mean I know this is not where trust usually has is uh, this insignia I did they're actually here in the back right here but I don't know I kind of like the the looks of it so, you know, this one turns out okay. I went overkill with Orion on his shield. But I think it looks really good. You know, even if he's not a warrior. Orion packs on the abdomen. That looks good too. And But the thing is that once they're removed from the white sheet, they kind of lose the perspective of being cartoon sloppy. You know, they look quickly to the eye. They look just like normal decals um, but still um, honestly I think on the red bumblebee he came out okay that looks good and then on the cliff jumper same thing looks good too and then on yellow bumblebee it's good as well uh, wheeljack I know I didn't want to remove the 539 so I just left it on his shoulder but I think my favorite is probably gonna be Sunstreaker I didn't have uh, the rub symbol that came with the original set of this KOG1. Uh, the rub symbol didn't work. 
And then Toy Hacks, uh, when I ordered the uh, the decal for the rest, uh, I didn't order a uh, rub symbol. But I think on this one, it looks pretty good. I mean, G1 toy with a G1 cartoon logo. That's awesome. So there you go. That was just a quick video. Oh, no, wait. There's one more thing. This guy. It's kind of hard to do with the camera handheld like this. But I added the decal to Devastator. And I think this one came out really good. But it would have been interesting if they would have, you know, like I said, white backing. Or not even white backing, if they were to redo these, but in white as well, so that you can, you know, they would show more over colored parts. Uh, that would be interesting too. Because I, I do think that the G1 cartoon had some of those. So anyway, that was just a quick video. I'm just having fun with uh, these uh, older sets of decals I found. I still have a couple, uh, so uh, I think on third-party figures it's easier to apply because third-party figures don't usually have logos um, or KOs, and uh, but that's going to be uh, interesting uh, to you know have around. And when I see uh, a Autobot or a Decepticon who's missing a logo, I can slap this on. And honestly, I think it looks really good, and it's really fun to have a more accurate, uh, well. I guess, I don't know if that's the right term, but you know, a sloppy cartoon logo on a figure. I just think it looks uh, looks fine. Let me know what you think in the comment. You know, is it worth it? Because that set was just $5, so it's really cheap. So let me know if you think it's worth it, or the, does it devalue the figure to your eyes, or uh, does it uh, give it some, uh, some edge? It sure is different. So, you know, and it makes the collection stand out a little bit. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!